Well, hey there, guys, and welcome to a brand new Edge Retro Geek Out. I got the Attic Invader crew right here. We've got Greco, Gatnark, and over there we got a toy store. Yeah. Somewhere, somewhere there. Insert B-roll. And uh, yeah, actually, um, this one I saw you guys' videos on, and saw some more videos, and it looks cool. I can't wait to go, and I can't wait to go and see all this cool stuff. I've been told. They got some pre-production stuff, and I'm always up for checking it out up close and in person. So, let's bring you guys along. Hey there, welcome to the channel. In this set of toy hunting videos, we document a trip two years in the making. Whoa! Watch as me and my fellow Attic Invaders, Narc and Greco, pick our way through bins of collectibles from Michigan to Texas. Is it rain in Belgium? Rain or shine, there's no adventure too daring to feed the plastic habit. Everything's gonna be fine. We hit up toy stores, conventions, flea markets, and everything in between. So strap in for some toy history along the way in Eddie Goes USA. <laughs> so Dallas Vintage Toys was definitely on the list to go and visit when I'm, you know, just back in Texas. I saw last year's video where Greco, Narc, and Pixel Dan went over there. They saw the whole inventory thing. I don't think we're going to see that today. Oh, uh, I'm thinking about that gray skull entrance. I'm thinking about just the ton of toys and hopefully some prototypes or some cool stuff they might have in here today. So can't wait to check it out. Oh man, they're just restocking. We got here on time. Gonna get first dibs on everything. Dude, got they left the What is this? We got like Pirates of Dark Water. Guys, we're actually in the middle of a revamp. I don't, Ooh. I don't know what your timeline looks like today, but if you give me like 30 minutes, I can have this all looking. Oh, sweet. Oh, fun. <laughs> Obviously, everybody's already spoken about the Castle Grayskull. Yeah. And like, here, the dwell of. Dwellers of passion. I don't know. I can't remember. Dwellers of passion. You put me on, <laughs> on the spot, Dad. <laughs> so, yeah, but this looks cool to finally be walking through this. <laughs> it's crazy. I, I know, but you know, to see it up close and in person. So this is where they keep all the graded stuff. This is all the graded stuff. Well, and like the I'm not the biggest fan of graded stuff, but um, some of the things in here you hardly ever see. So I totally get why these things are graded. Pitbull wizard. That was beautiful, Raphael. Kid, you're bothering me. Rick is already hijacking the whole thing here. Yeah. And he was like, oh, could you please, you know, turn down the music a little bit? And then he starts just playing them all. Yeah, so we can't even do anything with The way he rolls, I mean, 
There's a whole room filled with great toys on card. We even got some of the chili fine stuff over here. Some of the maskers. Ooh, we have uh, the Marauders on card there. That's, that's some good Joe stuff. Lots of Star Wars. They had Mad Balls looking fresh out of the case, right out of the factory. Uh, loads of Star Wars stuff, but uh, pretty much like the coolest stuff in there was like the promotional stuff from way back in the 70s and early 80s. Um, stored displays still in the shipper case, how it was sent to a toy store. That's the stuff you never see. But no, Mr. Greg. Yes. He's just playing the pinball. Supposed to be making a toy video, but I just got stuck on this pinball machine. Claws are a little dangerous. So, which grail do you guys want to walk home with today? Uh, right here. Anybody want the, the big US flag? I already got one. You already got one. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> anything else? Anything else catching your fancy here? I want that pinball machine. Want the pinball machine? Yeah. Oh, that's a good pick. It's not that's vintage, but I've always wanted a, a yeah. really slick yeah. pinball machine. Money was an issue, Craig. What? got your attention in here. What got my attention? This is like like the big prize room, right? The, the big boy. Yeah, big boy room. room. This is the big boy room. <laughs> I like the Mad Balls selection, of course. Ah, they look so freaking cool. They look amazing, but, but, I kind of like this um, giant strawberry shortcake. Yeah, the strawberry shortcake. <laughs> <laughs> Indiana Jones. Yeah, the Indiana Jones. This is the LGN one. Yes. It came out after Kenner dropped the license because the second movie uh, got an R rating or yeah. PG 13, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so that would be a sweet piece to have. Join Tuggy. Wait, they, they dropped the license because it was PG 13? Yeah, Kenner didn't want to be involved in that. But they're okay with like Robocop? And that was later in the 80s, man. Nobody cared anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, <laughs> hey, let's just go with it. There's money to be made. Which toys would I pick? I, I'd probably go for one of the Dino Riders in here, honestly. Ice Age. I think they look pretty cool. Um, got loads of the Ice Age ones in here, uh, which I'm not such a big fan of. They're like hard to find, but uh, I think I would have to go this mononucleosis. Uh, mononucleosis. Mononucleosis, right here. <laughs> I'm guessing like this this triceratops looking dude right here. Uh, German, German uh, box on that. Yeah, yeah. Or I probably yeah. take take the dwarf souls. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I like that. I, I think that. The next choice would have been the Ice Age for sure. Yeah. Because I've never actually seen the box. Like up close ever. This is new for me, so really cool. I like the artwork. I like the critters. I like the critters, man. Yeah. <laughs> Let me show you on this critter right here. Now, not only did they have awesome graded stuff over in this room, they also had a ton of stuff in the back. And I just want to thank Brad and the other guys from the Dallas Vintage Toys crew for bringing out this awesome stuff. Oh, look at here. So this is a double telescoping Luke on a 12 back A card. This card in particular is the debut card. It's a lot rarer than uh, other cards and variations. The card got an 80, the bubble got an 80, and the figure got an 80. Wow. So it did uh, overall really well. Kind of things rarer than this would be like a rocket firing fat. Oh really? Uh, yeah. And certain other vintage Star Wars items, but uh, this one we were advised and have it priced around a hundred thousand. Oh, really? <laughs> That's it? <laughs> yeah. This is one of the toys that, that that started the whole revolution with Kenner. You know, um, one of the first ones on on a card back. That's insane to see. A couple of the guys have the lightsabers. Obviously, is this one of the only ones where they have the double? So double telescoping lightsabers are featured on their early bird kits. Um, certain ones have it, and then um, Luke Skywalker, Ben Kenobi, and uh, Darth Vader um, are figures that all uh, feature the double telescoping lightsaber. But this was like the first production run. So and people started complaining. It's yeah. breaking off too easily. Yeah. Can we get like a refund or something? Okay, and they changed it here. around. Yeah. So a 12 back A. This is basically the rookie card. That's a nice technology. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we acquired this from a young lady um, 
that uh, had it for a long time and wanted to sell it, so we paid her a couple cars worth of, uh, <laughs> for it, and then uh, we sent it off to be graded, which uh, obviously makes it a little more valuable yeah, now yeah, that it's yeah. uh, it, it's safe inside. And it used to be one dollar. Yep. Sixty-six cents. <laughs> and these guys are loose; they can go over a thousand. They're not ultra rare per se when they're loose. Uh, they're not common. Yeah. But uh, but on card it, without like any this, yellowing or yeah. stuff like that. This would be a grail, and I don't like to use the word grail, mm -hmm. uh, but this would be one. Yeah. <laughs> Thank, right. Thank thanks. Thanks so much, Brad. And he pulls out some more stuff like Master of the Universe artwork. This has all the color codes, and before they present it, I believe this one went in uh, one of the books uh, that the came gold, with the figure. Oh, oh, really? Yeah. Okay. This is kind of like a mock-up. I'd have it in black and white. Then they'd have the uh, uh, watercolor version of it, and then uh, kind of all the little details. These are all the artist notes for, and it was for the uh, Golden Look book. Page 24. Yep. <laughs> so yeah, you can go. Caverns. If you have the book, you can now go and look Check at it. it. And we have quite a few of these. We have probably hundreds of them, but this is one of the better, the cooler ones at least. But then again, apart from stuff I probably won't be able to afford, they also have a ton just in the store. Dude, how many? Like, like is this finished or is it? Yeah, they're finished. You get the bandums? That's crazy. Wow. Wow. Ooh, misfits. Yeah. Um, don't really know much about this, but this is pretty exciting. I am a, a little bit of a Robocop kick on this trip. It seems like I'm having the opportunity to find things. But... Just like chilling here. Double drawing it. Ooh, a killer crab. It looks nice. 50 cents. Not bad. What? 50 cents. It's not 50 cents. <laughs> Ultra Force. Rangers. Hey. Earthworm Gems? What? Ooh, and what are Zen the Intergalactic Ninja. Mm -hmm. No way. Oh, ooh. Roger Rabbit. That's real nice. <laughs> hey. Oh, we got the Razor Crest here. What are your opinions on the Razor Crest? Um, it's cool, but not for me. Too much space. Too much space? Um, yeah. It's a nice box. It's a nice box, but not for me. Not for the toy narc. How about you? Um, I didn't get it, but I always feel like. I'm behind on a lot of these things when it comes to like ordering them. I always regret it. Like I, I wish I got the Sentinel. That didn't happen. Okay. Uh, but then I kind of like tried to make up for it by ordering everything else. And it's just like, <laughs> what have I done? I don't know. Store actually makes me want to put down a camera and just look. Yeah, I mean, yeah. that's probably like, what we should do. It's probably what we should do. I mean, yeah. Because you're going to miss out if you don't. Yeah, I mean, that's what happens. Cause be it's crazy. There, there's so much cool stuff mm -hmm. just to look at. I never see, and they have all the new stuff here in stock. Oh, yeah. You don't have to wait. You don't have to pre-order. Right here, right Stock now. up. Crazy. Find something. I'll, I'll turn you guys back on. All right. That's the big. Now, now we just gotta. Let me show you on something, Eddie. Put down the damn camera. Put down the damn camera. It's pretty tough in this store to figure out what am I gonna look for 
this time around. But um, one of the toy lines I'm still looking for, I was hoping to bump into this strip, is Barnyard Commandos, which I haven't seen yet. It's an art line produced by Playmates, but created by toy designer James Froman for the American Greetings Corporation. Accompanied by a cartoon show, the Rams and the Porks battle it out after they consume some radioactive material. Human T anyone? Now back then, these just looked like a dog's chewy toy with some artillery popped on top of it. But uh, all you needed back in the 90s was your imagination, right? And now recently, Premium DNA actually brought these guys back as adult collectibles with highly articulated stuff and uh, crazy sculpts. But I'm still liking these, actually. Right here, we got some Barnyard Commandos. Now, Barnyard Commandos! If, if, if you can't find something in the shop, you can always check out online, and they might pull it out for you. That's what this guy did right here. Uh, luckily, he's also into Barnyard Commandos, and uh, I kind of asked him, like, hey, what, what would you recommend? Would you recommend me getting a piggy and a ram? And that's what we're getting. This guy's got some paperwork. That's why this guy has just got the accessory. But uh, it's mm -hmm. pretty much uh, the last toy line I was looking for on this trip to just get, you know, a sample. And uh, I'm taking these two home with me, so uh, yeah. Awesome. You gotta pick a side, man. You can't get at both. Wait. <laughs> Come on, which, which, side which, which side would you take? Um, the pigs. The, are they the winners? These are the bad guys. <laughs> yeah. They're painted the bad guys. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, you can totally tell. Look at yeah. that nose ring is all oh, nothing but trouble. <laughs> nothing but trouble. He doesn't have time for your shenanigans. <laughs> Private side of bacon. They look badass. Love that sculpting that Playmates does. So yeah, there you go. Playmates. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Brad. <laughs> yeah, have a good one, guys. Good to see you again. Wow. Oh. Well, that was a fun trip. Fun store? Oh, I love it. It's awesome. Uh, and they always, they always oh, you've been there right. before. I was like, whoa. Well, they know you two royalty when they uh, see it, so. I was happy. I was glad that I could come along in with you because otherwise they would have never pulled out those Grayly pieces, you know? No. Yeah. It'd oh. just be another customer. Uh oh. Another, another customer. What do you think, Ed? What do you think? I, I really liked it. Uh, yeah. I think, like, the layout and especially that they put so much effort into keeping um, their displays up to date and, you yeah. know, have new stuff rotating around. Hey. I'm happy. Happy Ed. Happy, happy Ed. Happy Ed. That's Yay. a rare sight. What? <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, uh, thanks for watching this epi of uh, Attic Invaders strike dallas and uh yeah subscribe to all the channels leave a comment leave a like like a thumbs up um subscribe patreon t-shirts t-shirts yeah. yeah go go get them go get them and have an awesome day bye watch as we go behind the scenes of a greco video greco in the wild He's looking at something that he's not gonna buy. He's already opening up the toys. <laughs> it's, brand, it's brand new. This is opening up the toys. You can open up product and not have to do for it. I guess he's not gonna buy it anyway. It's not sealed, so toy mark here. That's gonna be sticking, isn't it? <laughs> suppressing suppressing <laughs> toy collection. Oh, hey. Oh, I gotta work on my signature. Oh, oh. oh. hey. See you right now, Rick. Hey. hey. See, I don't know what to do. I mean, you write your name. <laughs> G. Jubeception. <laughs> the guy behind the camera is like, I didn't ask you guys to do this. <laughs> no, like, what are you doing with my book? <laughs> I love it, but anybody's son is that. We had Dan Housen do it. He was like, I don't know what to write. Ah. <laughs>